Now, we know that the standard form for the geometric series is actually summation is k equals 0 to infinity of a r to the k. Well, now we're going to continue on. Well, this is a standard form right here. So, we know that the standard geometric series will converge for the absolute value of r is less than 1. Now, for any other values, it's going to diverge. And we don't want that in this case, because our ball is actually bouncing in this sort of pattern here. Like this, it's bouncing up and down. So it's like got sharp points, but it's eventually going to flatline and come down to zero and stop bouncing. So we know that there will be an actual distance that it travels. And our R is going to be the uh, decrease in the bounce each time. So, we, well, actually, on the average of the decrease in the bounce each time. So, um, now that we know that, what we're going to find here is the limit of the geometric series. This will give us what the geometric series actually converges to. So, we're going to take the limit as n goes to infinity. And now we're going to k equal to... 0 to the n minus 1. Well, let's say a r to the k here. And now we're going to continue on. And this will be the limit at n goes to infinity of a times 1 minus r to the n over 1 minus r. Well, what we can do here is we can take the limit of the r to the n and realize immediately that this is going to be 0 because, after all, r is less than 1. And any case like that, we know that the series will, or the uh, sequence of that will eventually converge to 0. So, uh, knowing that r is less than 1 and that is convergence, now we have our a times, and the limit doesn't even matter anymore, 1 over 1 minus r. So, a over 1 minus r is what our geometric series will actually converge to. So this will give us the value that the ball has traveled by the end of its series of bounces.